Charles addresses fans after new allegations he flirted with minors on social media. I'm 21, but like I said, I have the mentality of a 40 year old. Yeah. So for me, like I'm much more mentally and emotionally mature than a lot of people my age. I'm not physically attracted to older guys, which sucks. Like I would date like the absolute youngest, like 18, 19 that looks a little bit older, or like 24 that like has a young personality. Okay. Finally, finally came to a conclusion. It's sucks and it is ridiculously embarrassing to admit this, but I think I have to, and that is that I'm desperate. It's your Uncle Herman here and I'm still an alpha male. In light of the ever-evolving James Charles situation, I wanted to make another more concise video detailing all of the allegations that have come to light recently. If you haven't seen my last video on James, I went into his past scandals and everything that's led up to this point in his career, and so this will be a follow-up as more and more victims of James Charles' behaviour have come out since making that video, and a big trigger warning for details of predatory behaviour towards minors throughout this video. One of the first victims to come forwards used TikTok to show the Snapchat messages that he had been receiving from James Charles when the victim was just six. The snaps showed James, who is 21, sending incredibly inappropriate photos to the victim. It's also interesting to note that James has spoken of TikTok as a dating site before and used it to ask for applications, knowing full well that TikTok's demographic is primarily young people. Hi, James here. I can't believe I'm making this video right now, but I feel like this can't hurt and I don't think it'll turn into a scandal either, so I guess here goes nothing. I made one major observation after downloading TikTok a few weeks ago, and that is that this app is pretty much a dating app, <clears throat> let's be real. Everyone on here is either in a very cute relationship or is painfully single, and unfortunately for me, I fall into that second group of people. Surprise, surprise. In 2020, however, I'm trying to change that. Okay, I'm trying to put myself out there a little bit more, and I want to get wiped up. So... I want to play TikTok Bachelor. My name is James Charles. I'm 20 years old and I'm 5'10". I live in Los Angeles, California, and I'm a beauty YouTuber. So sometimes I look pretty, and when I don't look pretty, I have a pretty fun personality to make up for it. Um, I'm a very hard worker, but in my free time, I like horror movies, escape rooms, singing with friends, eating at new restaurants, and also I have fun nails for back scratching and cuddling. If those things are of interest of you and you are a male, leave me a comment down below, or I guess do out this video. Oh my god, what have I done? This story started to take off as another victim came forward saying that he'd added Charles on Snapchat first and sent him a message expressing that he was a fan of him. He said that he was excited to see James had opened his Snapchat messages because he's my biggest influence. Influencer-wise, I've always looked up to him. In a so-called part two, he posted more of what he said were explicit photos that Charles had sent him, which he censored. He said that I was getting really uncomfortable, so I told him my age. I told him I was 16. He went on to say that Charles then repeatedly asked for nude photos and to FaceTime him. This is the story that prompted James's initial statement released on Twitter denying that he had groomed or sent any inappropriate messages to the minor, and shortly afterwards the victim who had come forwards allegedly was taken off of TikTok. However, James later talked about the situation in his video and apologised for it. These conversations should have never happened, point blank period. There's no excuse for it, there's no if, ands, or buts, and I take full responsibility for that. I trusted the information that was given to me rather than the information I could have and should have gotten myself. In both of these situations, Doing research into these people's public social media profiles would have revealed their true ages and therefore these conversations would have never happened in the first place, but I didn't do the research and that is what is so embarrassing. Um, as an adult, it is my job and my responsibility to verify who I'm talking to and therefore there is no one to blame for this other than myself. Um, to the guys involved with this situation, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I added you, I'm sorry that I flirted with you, and I'm really sorry if I ever made you uncomfortable. In my opinion, this part of the apology video can be taken as a sort of confession, as in apologising for it, he is saying that these messages did take place, which goes completely back on his original PR statement on Twitter, saying that it never took place and saying that the accusations were completely false. The next minor to come forwards tweeted about his experiences with James Charles, saying that he introduced himself as 17, and even after this, James continued to flirt and called the victim cute. He posted screenshots of their conversation, saying that it never got sexual, but it's still weird how he continued to talk and flirt after he knew that the victim was a minor. The next person to come forward was just 14 and made a video about how James Charles had allegedly sent and asked for inappropriate images. The reason why I'm here today is because Ethan didn't feel comfortable enough filming this alone after numerous threats made to him by James Charles. Alright, so about a couple months ago, back in March, I was here. Um, I, my, my, one of my homeboys were on James Charles Live and he was like, bro, like, join this, like, let's just troll him. Like, we're just putting random stuff and just trolling it. My friend was like, yo, like, I bet you want DM him. 
I wasn't thinking anything of it. I said, all right, bet, I'm going to DM him. So I DM him, and um, I guess the next day he responds, and he tells me, why do you keep texting me? And I was like, what? I, like, I don't keep texting you. Like, well, like, what are you talking about? And he just kind of ignores the subject because I sent him like a picture back at me, and I guess, I don't know. He finds me attractive or whatever. I don't know what, I don't know what he was hiding in his brain going on. He asked me what my age was, and I told him, um, I told him I was 14 years old, and he told me I was very young. And I said, yeah, and he said, add me on Snapchat because I, I feel more comfortable talking on there. And so I said, okay, like, let's do it. Like, but, and me not knowing anything, like, I just think that's cool. Like, James Charles, like, 18, 17 million followers, like, once we add him on Snap, like, not even in a clout way. Like, I'm just saying, like, that's dope. Like, an influencer. Like, everybody knows who he is pretty much. I was like, that's awesome. And so I just, I thought it was a cool, and he just started getting a little too comfortable with me and just pushing it over the limits, knowing I was underage. And I started talking to him about it, and he didn't really believe it until he, he saw it with his own eyes, James Charles being so pushy and just making me feel uncomfortable to the max. And I honestly, like, he was like, I guess he was trying to get me into thinking I was bisexual or gay, whatever he wants to, whatever y'all want to call it. But he was asking me to send him nudes and he kept wanting me to go to LA and he kept sending me nudes and I kept just sending me a picture back. I didn't respond. I just literally sent that picture back to me and he would leave it on open and then snap me like a few hours later, sending me another picture of his like ass, you know, I'm just going to say it. Like, it was just, it was just, it, was, it made me feel super uncomfortable. And so, um, yeah, like, honestly, like. I'm not making this video to cancel him. I'm just trying to help others out there because there's a lot of kids that are my age. So I think it's awesome that James Charles is actually adding on Snapchat, but in reality, he's trying to he's trying to make you think that you are something you're not. And I don't want that happening to anybody else and to all the parents and everybody watching this video. I'm trying to help you out for the future with your kids and to make sure always like stay in touch, like like ask them, like check their phones, whatever you want know to do, you know, because like there's people like him. James is a child predator. My thing is you asked him how old you were and when he told you he was 14 years old, you still continue to try to force yourself on a minor, a kid, a little kid. So my thing is like, I don't know, I just don't think that's cool. That's disgusting. You're 21 years old and you want a 14 year old out of all the people in LA, there's 4 million people in LA and you choose to try to force yourself on a 14 year old. It cannot be confirmed whether James knew that the victim was 14, but either way, this is an extremely serious and disturbing allegation. Another TikTok shows someone who allegedly knew James in high school talking about how James Charles used to catfish members of the high school soccer team to get their nudes. So the past week I've just been double checking and verifying things I could say about the James Charles catfishing story. I did link two videos but a lot of people still had questions so I'm just gonna run through it really quick. This will probably be my last video on it. So this all came out in 2016 on Twitter. It was really big in my area. One of the alleged stories is that James would dress up as a girl, make different accounts, as a girl and talk to different guys from his soccer team, his high school, and neighboring high schools. This is all alleged. Now I don't remember the exact reason and I haven't been able to find my screenshots from Twitter um, on my old laptop. So allegedly one of the reasons why he came out with it was he got feelings for a guy and then thought it would go over better if he just was upfront about it but it kind of blew up in his face. That's an alleged reason. Um, another alleged reason why he did it in the first place was because people were bullying him, and he. but I don't know the validity of that, so that's definitely alleged. Um, I'm trying to find more screenshots, don't sue me. Here's some screenshots from the two videos I cited. Um, they definitely That video with the information about the story times definitely didn't get as much traction as my first one, so I was just going to share them behind here. Pause to read. I'll leave it on the screen for a little while so you can see. Then here's another one you can pause to read. Please don't screenshot it with my little face in the corner because that'll be weird looking. <laughs> another video, there's screenshots from a conversation with his ex-best friend. Um, I talked about that YouTube video on my TikTok page under like give a story time. I cite this video. And then here's another screenshot from that video. And then here's the picture of James dressing as a girl. So this is all alleged. I'm just putting out um, some information because everybody was asking and nobody was watching the videos. <laughs> this is an allegation that has also been alleged by another person who claims to have known James Charles in high school. Reminds me of someone. As usual, all of this is alleged and it must be considered how easy it is for people on the internet to circle false stories and allegations, but the sheer volume of people coming forwards points to a predatory pattern that simply cannot be ignored, and James's recent apology video, in my opinion, only incriminated him more, with him admitting that he's engaged in this sort of activity and used TikTok as a way to try and meet people using the excuse that he is desperate. In my opinion, it doesn't matter how desperate you are, you should never groom minors. It's a crime and it's using your power to manipulate and groom people and that is never okay. And the allegations keep surfacing with more and more minors coming forwards each day with new screenshots of their conversations with James. 
So as you can see, James Charles commented on one of my videos back in August. Then right after, he adds me on Snap, but notice he didn't follow my Instagram or TikTok. So at this point, I'm just shocked. I'm going insane. Like, I see this guy everywhere, and for him to add me, that's just crazy. So we texted for a couple days, but it was more of like, hey, what you doing? How you doing? We ended up getting the yellow heart within just three days. Then, you know, after those three days of getting to know each other and everything, the big question came out. James asked me if I'm gay. I told him I'm straight, and things start to get weird from there. He then starts leaving me on open. Literally the same day I told him I was straight, he left me on open for 10 hours. But I don't blame him because he did say he was looking for a relationship on a podcast at the time. Looking for love on a, a so, long term, yes. like longevity. But I would get these out of the blue snaps from him asking how am I doing or, or what are you doing, like out of nowhere. And it went on for like a while, for like a week. And then he just asked me openly, would you be willing to experiment? I said no. He asked why. And I said because I don't feel comfortable doing something like that. Then he started questioning my decision, asking why, and he tried making me feel like it was okay. He sent me this. What are you worried for though? It's not like anybody's actually there. Like about to suck your dick or something. So after he sent me that, I thought to myself, why me? Like why, why does he like me out of everyone in the world? Like why is he so open to me? Like how does he know I'm not gonna take a video of him without him noticing? So I was scrolling through TikTok one day, on the For You page and I seen him comment on another guy's TikTok. So I went and DM the guy. Now me being the curious person I am, I asked him, is James Charles hitting on you too? He responds with yes. And then I asked him, are you gay, straight or bi? He said he was straight like me. Now what was crazy is the same day someone hit me up and asked me, is James Charles hitting on me? Here's the screenshot. I take that back, he asked me the James Charles that you up to. Notice it's August 26th, it's all around August. Now I asked the guy and he was straight. Now we all ended up with the same stories. Like he tries to make you feel like it's okay to try experimenting, which is wrong. Now James one day ends up doing something really dumb. He sends me a nude out of nowhere, out of context, out of the blue. All right guys, so I'm gonna explain to you guys how this happened because a lot of people were curious. I damn this bitch as you can see. Conversation. This all happened during the whole tacky scandal. Um, I actually reached out to him because I felt bad for him. As you can see, he asked me for my snap right here. You guys. Anyways, I give him my snap. As you can see, he adds me right here. At this point, he messaged me right away. As you can see. So as you guys can see, uh, we did develop a streak. I know three isn't a lot, but it does show to prove that we were snapchatting each other back and forth for a bit. And at this time, we were actually on really good terms. I did not think he was gonna do anything stupid. So anyways, we started talking again at three in the morning, and we were snapping each other. I sent him a shirtless picture, and it was literally just me working out at home. If you know me, I literally post that shit on my story all the time. It's quite obvious that he was pressuring me into sending him photos. After doing what he said, he questioned my confidence. Alright, so as you guys can see, um, he's questioning my confidence because I didn't want to send him a specific explicit photo. And I just find that very disgusting. Like, who does that to a person? Over here, I was telling him I was tired and that it was late, but he didn't seem to care, so... Obviously, me being me, I didn't want to lose the opportunity to talk to him, so I continued to do what he said. Anyways, I was getting really tired because it was super late. It was almost 4 o'clock a.m., and when I told him I wanted to sleep, he started to make me feel bad. He even asked me a video call, and I said I didn't want to. He still proceeded to call my phone. At this point, I got very, very anxious, and as you can see, I'm literally shaking in this video because I was so scared. I didn't want to do it, so I chose not to. I told him I didn't want to video call him because I was scared my parents would walk in. He told me to go to the bathroom. This is what he said. Then he gave me attitude and he removed me off Snapchat as you can see. What pissed me off the most is how he questioned my confidence. Another person has come forwards saying that they were even offered payment for inappropriate images of themselves by James Charles. Some people have also been digging up past videos of James Charles spending time with Emma Chamberlain that show James behaving in an incredibly inappropriate manner towards Emma. These two have had a rocky history on the platform that I won't go into too much in this video, but watching these videos is really disturbing and though Emma hasn't commented on it, it's clear to see why she might have had a problem with James and we can start to see early signs of his inappropriate and predatory behaviour. You can hear them down there, but it's time to get ready so let's just get into it. Hi, oh. I hope that this video has brought to light the timeline of events that sparked the case against James Charles and the reason that he's being accused of grooming and predatory behaviour. He's talked so openly over and over again, boasted even about how he's catfished and hit on younger men and even promoted using TikTok as a way to get dates. I was there filming and James goes, should I put on a wig to snap at that guy? <laughs> and now, uh, he's literally choosing a wig. 
I mean blonde or brunette right now? I think blonde. Blondes have more fun. I, that's so true, Tana. <laughs> That's it's good. Everything. No, I'm so professional. And not to mention that the apology video that he issued only incriminated him more. Making an apology video, in my opinion, when you've been accused of crimes is completely redundant. The victims of James Charles need so much more than an apology video. They need James to face the appropriate repercussions for his actions, in my opinion. This needs a full-on investigation, and though I'm aware that false allegations about James Charles have circulated in the past, even if only one of the many accusations are true, James Charles has still committed a crime and apologised for it by saying that he did it because he was desperate and single, which is never okay. So that has been my weekly update on YouTubers committing crimes and getting away with it. I really hope that this time he doesn't get away with it. I have, as always, been your Uncle Herman. Thank you so much for watching. You can like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see you very soon in my next video.